Well, well, how are you? Good now, Gary, you're, yourself. You're a long way from home today. A little bit, all right, sir. Those women tell last man to carry on. Carry on, son. I know, we're holding you up badly here, the things you do to try and get the right camera shot. Has I, to be done. So, bottom line, this trailer that everybody's been asking questions about Much is yours. Yep. What's the story with the trailers? Sure. We started with smaller trailers and then they got bigger and turned into that one there, the Monster Move 12. Basically, we started building the trailers in 2014. It snowballed from there, really. And building trailers purely for... Built, as in, that's it, that Bale concept, bail transporters, yeah. That's all we've ever really done is bail transporters. And how are they doing for you Close. in general? In general, going from strength to strength. People just want bigger, more extras, <laughs> more everything. Lights, steering axle, steering oh, well, I've noticed that start in this one now. When, whenever it first arrived in, and Gary and I, we took it off the lorry and we were playing with it. I think we did make a live video. Yeah. I noticed it was the wee touches I said, like, you had all the light pack, everything was on the trailer, and it was looking the part. That's a Monster Move 12. 12. Where's that in the scale? Of what? The Super Move 10 was the original trailer, was the first one. Okay. We have a 6 bale and an 8 bale, which are okay. smaller versions. Not as popular, parts of the country, parts of Europe, yes. Our 10 bale was our D trailer for a few years. People wanted bigger. We launched this Monster Move 12 in 2018. So the Monster Move 12, 12 is now your is 10, now, <laughs> Super is now Move 10, 10 basically. Or it's close second, isn't it? It's, it's nearly on a par. No, I'm not. I'm going to be straight up with you here. Is it as complicated as it looks, or is it just nagging? It's like everything. Nag, Put a guy on it for a couple of hours, and you think he was on it all the time. Just it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. It's like a bell, or it's like any machine. When he gets the hang of it, he's away on a hack. And it's a very heavily engineered trailer. You can see that in the trailer. I yeah. suppose that's like me giving you a big pat in the back there, isn't it? But Probably, yeah. It's very, it's very strong. But it has to be. It has to be because you have, you have a lot of lever working all the time. Everything is out from the centre of the chassis. It's the lot of levers working on it all the time. So it has to be strong. You take the average bell of silage, 800 kgs, heading up for 1,000 kgs. You have serious weight out from the centre of the chassis. Like it's serious well, obviously, weight like she's put 10 kilos here in each oh, hand, yeah. and we're feeling comfortable. Oh, well, there's a different <laughs> story. Come out here, and it's a completely different yeah, story. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so your Monster Move 12, you do a 14 and a 16, I 14 believe. 14 and 16, yeah. 14, there was a 14 built for Ireland and there was a 16 this built. This boy's showing off here, who does he anyway? <laughs> good, eh? Hey, he's definitely showing off. Don't know what he thought of Big Henry the Ford though, he's a John no, Deere man. John Deere man, <laughs> no, no, alright. <laughs> I guarantee you he's going to love it. He just won't admit it. No, so yeah, was, chances of him saying that is zero. <laughs> so you have a 12 and a 14, did I hear and someone tell? And a 16, yeah. and a 16. There is a 16 model we built for German market. So what? it is a serious machine in terms of size. Gee, that's a 40 footer size thing. It's a, it's a 40 foot trailer. It's, a, it's the same size as your, as your Arctic truck. Well, you, know, you know yourself, like that just wouldn't work here. No, it's... You know, it's you'd probably just even coming in that first gate, you'd just be on your limit, maybe even with the 14. It's not. The 12 is taken off big time in Ireland. The 14, I reckon, parts of Ireland, there is a market for the 14. The 16, she's gone a little bit big for Ireland. Mm -hmm. But there is parts of the world that are shouting for it. But they picked up on what you said earlier on, uh, Adam. You have an export market for these trailers. Yeah. You, you know, you, I heard you mention More Germany, so... 60-70% of what we're building now is export. Fantastic. So. And you're based... I can't say Carlo, even though you're close no, to Carlo. Not Carlo. You're we're close. In you're we're, close. On the, we're on the Kenny <laughs> Carlo border, but we're in Leash. I said that on the phone, Carlo, and he near shot me. If you can shoot someone down the phone, that is. <laughs> oh, no, we're well, in are, you, are, you, are you happy with your product? Are you happy with how it's going? Yeah, like, from day you're... one, we'd always have listened to the customer. If the customer said, do you know what, just tweak this or change that, we'll do that and put it as an option. 
like in the beginning there was no steer and Axel, no steer and Robert, but there are things the guys want when they get them, they love them and won't go away from them. That is the thing about it. Especially with the bigger machines. The, the monster move will go in and out no problem where the super move 10 will. So you're bringing an extra bale and getting in and out in the same place. That's what guys want. But they got just ain't no bale trailer. No. You know, you're used to the bale trailer. But then there's one thing I must admit, the ground conditions here would be, I'll not say they're bad because we've had ideal weather, but they were horrendous yeah. up to last week. Well, your other option here is drag in through with the, the, the Merlot at the farm. Yeah. They're as damaging and ground but as anything. You're doing, the thing with the trailer is you're driving to the bale once. You're not driving to a trailer 10 or 15 or 17 times, depending on your loads. He, know, he knows his way around that trailer, that fella. Hey, I'm just watching him there now. All right. I don't reckon it'll just be as neat as that when Alan gets on her. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. So this guy here, he owns one. Yeah, the, that guy there running the, they're running the Super Move 10 at home, yeah. Very good. And do you make anything else in your product portfolio or do you focus purely on purely, the Purely, we, we were at other engineering, say, repairing a small bit of farm okay. buildings, bogies for manure spreaders and things that way, but the market for them was just there and we literally just hadn't time to be at, be at anything else. And it was bale transporters and more bell transporters, yeah. So that's, that's really what good. A. Wilson Engineering Limited. is all about bale transporters. That's what we're about. And that transporter behind us, the Monster Move 12, is now your bread and butter yeah. bale trailer. That is it, yeah. Super Move 10 and the Monster Move 12 are the best selling trailer. You have other options, we have the bigger, we have the smaller. But there, the, the Monster Move 12 and the Super Move 10 are our bread and butter machine. Like there's one, two, three, four, like, and we, the particular fusion baler we have here today, it has on board, it can tell you the weight, so we can work that out. Yeah. But I'd say in that, look. 7, 800 kgs. I have maybe more, I, you have 800 plus there, yeah. I would imagine. So that's why you need a little bit of strength on it. Well, the, the old Big Henry hasn't had a workout like this with her hydraulics for a long time. Giving her a stretch, all right? That'll do her no harm. It'll do her no harm. Looks, lo looks awful well. Can you make them in different colours or are they all blue? Blue is my colour, but if you have a out and out John Deere guy or a faint guy or something... You'll do it. You kind of just have to keep them happy. Well, tell us about the actual trailer. What's in the trailer? How's it, how, how's it made? Yeah, well, we're making it all in-house from scratch. Um, yeah, we're building everything ourselves. We're buying in the axles out of this tag there in Carlo. Okay. Um, same axle then, in theory, as the Brahman sort of thing, is It is, yeah, it? They're yeah. The same, they're the same company, the yeah. same, it's the same manufacturers making them. So um, high-speed commercial axle. High-speed commercial axle, 127 um, round beam axles, 420, 180 brake. Air and hydraulic is nearly standard in Ireland. Yeah. The other little thing with our trailer, sprung drawbar is practically standard. Um, yeah, that's it. And it's I see a, you, you, have, all you have the drawbar made that she will... That, that is an option, yeah, to um, pivot the drawbar. It's two main advantages. One is in the field, if you're a little bit out coming into the bale. Picture you're coming down the hill, a couple of inches out, kick the trailer. Stay on, you're not reversing against the hill, anything that way. That's half the advantage. The other half is in the yard. You can kick it out like a trail more and it's good for turning yeah, circle. You, improve, <laughs> you, you can turn it on a penny then. When I was looking at it, I was thinking it would allow me to put it onto the 310R. <laughs> sure, why not? I could get it out far enough <laughs> to get the actual beam. See what in. you're at. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. Well, exactly. he's, he's pretty much got his first load on here. Yeah. Have you any? Have you missed being at the shows this year? Yeah, it's a different year, totally different year. You miss you miss being at the shows. You miss meeting the customers, meeting new customers. So it's it is a funny year, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hopefully, 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 hopefully we can help get you out, and a few guys can hopefully yeah, look at the video and, now and, and see the and see the trailer in action. That's your old school hydraulics working now, I tell you. But anyway. <laughs> Well, look, thanks very much for yeah. popping up, and uh, hopefully we'll get it out 
and the weather takes up again and we'll, we'll, we'll get tried on a few different tractors and a bit of fun but it's nice to, see get, what happens. It's nice to get the old girl out of run and see how she gets on. She's so. some weapon, aren't you? Aye. Oh, aye, she is. That side of her is good now but we, we haven't just got through her all but we'll get there. One more bale and that's his first load. Does look well. Fair enough, Phil. Alright. She's always put anyway, look, thank you in yeah. the meantime.